I had to go to multiple Dunkin' Donuts to get my coffee. I pulled up to the first one. Sometimes I like to, you know, relax, drive through, drink it in the parking lot. It's just, it's just a little time out for me. It's like a, re it's how I relax. I said a medium iced decaf with oat milk. And then he says to me, would you like that hot or iced? It's iced. It's going to be, it's going to be iced. I said iced. It's in the name. Then he said, okay, medium decaf iced with almond milk. I said, no, it's, it's going to be uh, oat milk. I told him oat milk. He said, yeah, almond milk. I got it. I said, I don't think you do. I said one more time. I said, and you sure you got oat milk for that? He goes, oh yeah, I knew it was going to be almond milk. What do you think he puts in almond milk? So I had to, you know, I, I, I couldn't deal with it. So I left, uh, I went to a different Dunkin' Donuts and I, uh, you know, I just threw out the iced coffee from the first one. This is what we want to see. Everyone was given a lot of time to get there. If they're capable, if they're not capable, and the reason. Feature update deferral is set to zero. Create the feature update policy. You got to get these things on Windows 11. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. And today I'm going to show you how to use Intune to quickly get all your devices onto Windows 11. Even though they should already be there by now. I, I can't deal with the social interaction of going back after I said oat milk three times. I still got the almond milk. It's easier to dump the coffee and just try again at, a, at another location. Get Rubik's solving for the modern workplace. All right, when we log into Intune and go to our Windows devices, this is what we want to see 10.0.2 right? Which is Windows 11. And yeah, everything's supposed to be on there. This is because Windows 10 went end of life last month in October. And yes, everyone was given a lot of time to get there, but let's be honest, we couldn't all do it. I mean, for whatever the reason, your organization might still have a lot of Windows 10 devices. And now is the time. I mean, last month was the time, but you're sitting there, you got Windows 10 devices. Let's put them on 11, right? As long as they can Go on 11, but the good news is Intune has a bunch of things baked in to get you there fast. So I'm going to take you through what you should do. Right, the first thing everyone needs to do is to go to reports and we need to go down to endpoint analytics and we need to go to this work from anywhere report. And notice there's a Windows tab here. Okay, I got nothing because I already updated everything to Windows 11. But I got this screenshot from Microsoft to kind of show you. And what you will see is you'll see all the devices you have that are Windows 10, if they're capable, if they're not capable, and the reason. So you have to start here because if you have devices that are simply not capable, you're gonna have to replace them most likely. So it's better to know that up front. The next thing you need is your actual Windows update policies. So if we go to Windows updates, you need two things. First thing we need is an update ring, and hopefully you have those already. I'm not gonna create a new one. But your update ring, it's very important. Your feature update deferral is set to zero. Now, we're not just relying on that. We're actually going to set this to 11. And you can even turn this on, upgrade 10 to the latest 11 release. That's fine. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually create another feature update policy to target devices. And it'll work if they have an update deferral period of zero for the ring. So you're going to want to make sure this update ring policy is targeted to the same group as this next policy. And that policy is feature update, create the feature update policy. And this is going to be Windows 11 and uh, we'll call it latest. Now 25H2 is out. I would suggest going right to that. There's uh, not a whole lot of difference here. You just want to be on the latest versus 24H2. Um, and you want to make this a required update. We don't want to make this optional. The time for optional, the time for offering to certain people and making it kind of a fun thing. Hey, you can opt into Windows 11. That's over. It ended about a month ago. Now you got to get these things on Windows 11. So we're making that required. Um, if it's not eligible, we don't really care about that. And it's going to be as soon as possible. We're going to do this immediately. So we're going to do next and you're going to target that at the same group that the update ring is targeted at. Now, the last thing we're going to have to do is a remediation script. You're going to need this if any of your Windows 10 devices were previously SCCM or co-managed um, or they're hybrid join and certain policy applied. There are things that are going to prevent Windows update from doing its job. And hopefully you've gone through those already if you're using the Windows update rings. But if not, and uh, you're using Intune as a means to lift Windows 11 quickly, you're going to need this script to run in order to check all the registry settings and flip them.
Here are the scripts. If you want to watch me create them, kind of walk through how I did it and what we're specifically looking for, then uh, that's going to be a members only video that should be available tomorrow. And the gist is we're looking in a few different registry paths, mainly Windows, Windows Update AU, that stands for automatic update, and just the, the basic Windows update. So basically the way this works is we're checking uh, several values inside of all these and just kind of seeing if they're set correctly or not. If they're not, we're going to exit one to start the remediation. And then the remediation is the correct path and names and values of all those that we want set a certain way. And we go through and we just set them. So in the members video, we're going to go that in more detail, but this is something you're going to want to put in Intune. So once we have the scripts and I'll make them available in GitHub in a link below, you're going to put Windows 11 readiness. So the detection will be our detect script. And for remediate, we'll choose remediate. And we're basically going to assign this to either all devices, or if you have a specific group you're scoping the update ring and feature to, that's what you're going to want to use for this. All in all, I've been doing this a lot for folks, obviously, over the last few months. I mean, few years, but you know how it is. Everyone's like me. We wait till the last minute to do things. So I don't blame you there. I just want to help you get to 11. And if you're, you're, you're stumbling, or maybe you haven't started really using Intune yet, this is a great time to get in there and turn this on because you just let it go. And then basically you're going to see your devices uh, start to update based on how you set the behavior in the update ring, uh, how many days to give users to restart, all that stuff. You know, we've covered that in another video, but uh, essentially you don't want to give folks that much uh, leeway since we're a month overdue now. So Get them in Intune, get them on Windows 11, and we'll be seeing you.